Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. Turned out to be a pretty nice Monday, especially after that chilly weekend we had. Temperatures right now have cooled just a bit. Some spots were up near 60. We're generally mid 50s out there right now. Not going to drop nearly as cold as last night because we have some cloud cover to deal with. But the clouds not picking up any precipitation. Every once in a while we pick up a blip here or there. Some moisture up in the clouds, but the air is so dry near the near the ground. We're not going to see any precipitation from these clouds. We can see them moving in as we've been gone through the afternoon. Started out with some sun and kind of filtered the clouds out. Now they've thickened a little bit. They're with a warm front that's moving in. You can kind of see the arc in the clouds here, and that's the warmer air trying to move in from the Midwest. And as that warmer air rides up and over the chilly air that came in over the weekend, that's what's causing the clouds. But gradually, I think this warm air wins out. With a vengeance tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to feel much, much milder as we go in tomorrow. You can see some of those clouds still on our Lebanon sky cam out there, and we head to Cornwall for our uh, forecast for the evening hours. We'll call it partly cloudy. We'll fall out of the 50s into the 40s through the evening hours. So, yeah, it's cool. You want a jacket on as you go on out. Partly cloudy and a little chilly, but nowhere near as cold as last night. In some upper 30s, you get some breaks in the clouds, but I do think most of us will be in the low to mid 40s overnight. Then mostly sunny. Milder day tomorrow. We'll start with a few patchy clouds, then we'll see those high level clouds that kind of filter out the sun, not really blocking it. But I think we're in the 60s to maybe near 70 degrees. The warm west southwesterly breeze for tomorrow. Not real windy, but you'll notice the breeze out there. Here's some of the clouds on the predictor showing our temperatures falling into the 40s through the evening hours. We'll probably level off there too, maybe low 40s, and you get up tomorrow morning, low to mid 40s. <clears throat> Nowhere near as chilly as we were last night. But then, as we go through the afternoon, look at those numbers. Upper 60s, near 70 degrees. And just some of those wispy high clouds. So, election day is looking like a pretty good one out there for tomorrow. Temperatures near 70 tomorrow. No reason not to get out and vote. And don't blame the weather, guys. Then, increasing clouds on, uh, on Wednesday. Now, the clouds on Wednesday are with a front. And, yeah, I couldn't rule out a sprinkle or two. But it looks like that front stalls nearby and brings some rain with it on Thursday as another area of low pressure moves along it. Maybe a leftover shower, but windy and cooler as we head into the day on Friday. Saturday looks like a, a kind of a chilly day. Then a chance of some more showers with another front coming in maybe late in the weekend. Our kids' art for this evening comes from Molly Nauman from Lampy to Strasburg. That's a very very nice picture, Molly. Real fall like picture. They got the pumpkin, got the, the haystacks there, and all the colors in the leaves. Most of those leaves, though, they're, they're gone. They're blown away from this weekend's wind. Winds up to 40 miles an hour this weekend.